I mentioned this back in April, but I'm a little bit annoyed that 15 year old me decided to pick April of all months to start this because um, I have exams now, um, and so do you. Uh, like quarter three in university just ended on Friday, and now I've got a week of nothing, and then a week of exams, and then another week of exams. It's very stressful, all this sort of stuff. It's just, I don't want to have to deal with this kicking off and also having to edit the videos and also you know having to think about stuff I, I, I have a lot of I, I, I have a lot of stuff on my plate and that kind of helped form this project into what it is it started off with the ambition of being like a film project every single day kind of but instead what it's turned out to be is a talk show between time. Not sure how I feel about that, but you know, reality is oftentimes different from what one imagines. I was planning on going out and doing so much more, like a lot of filming, a lot of active stuff. And while I am happy with the fact that these videos are of higher quality nature than the stuff that I produced five years ago, Ultimately, I have to be realistic about stuff. I have to be open and honest with the fact that I can't commit to making films every second day, especially given the workload that you've been under, given that you can't pause for three days and then edit later. From my point of view, with everything coming to a close, it's weird. I'm shifting gear into becoming you, essentially. And I'm honestly not really considering it. This project has kind of not been the forefront of my attention for a, quite a while because I am in uni and I have so much shit going on and the life improvements that I had hoped would take place over the past year have not come to fruition. Instead I'm kind of unhealthier than I was a while ago, though mentally I'm improving. My main reason for starting a multi-year project was with the knowledge that I'm bad at sticking to things, and so committing to having an output, regardless of quality, is better than doing nothing at all. That's the reason that I ended up publishing two EPs, despite the fact that I'm not super happy with the quality of music I make. Producing something is generally better than producing nothing. If something's worth doing, it's worth doing poorly. There's that sense of perfectionism in me that prevents me from actually getting any work done, and kicking that to the side is really what this project is all about. It's better than what I produced five years ago, for sure, I've said that already, but there's more potential there. What I'm hoping is that you would have taken that and shown what could have possibly been done given a little bit extra effort. I'm not expecting films every single day, um, like, again, this has turned into a talk show between time, but I'm still curious. I want to know what you can do, and I hope desperately that you have managed over the past year to take my goals and seize upon them. I don't know how, but that's my hope. Coming to the end of this, I'm reflecting on the fact that I have not scripted any of these videos, despite the fact that I probably should have, especially given that they're just conversations. Turning on the camera every second day has been an opportunity for me to just open the floodgates and let whatever thoughts are in my mind flow out, and half the time those thoughts are dull and boring, because I don't live an exciting life. I find joy in the minutia of things, I find joy by myself, things that are not, you know, fun to look at on camera, and so trying to make a fun, entertaining video from them is not going to get me anywhere. Enough about that. I have exams to study for, so I'm going to go back to that. Future Alan, good luck in your exams. We'll see you tomorrow.